Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF. On today's episode, we're going to be covering the Old Pulteney 12 year. Oh, I actually did a uh, Old Pulteney bottling. That's probably my third review. It's a pretty terrible review, to be fair. Back when uh, my audio was even worse than it is now, and the video was even worse than it is now, etc. But I'll put a link up here to it if you want to check that out. That's the uh, Old Pulteney Duncansby head. This is the entry level age statement from their core range, the 12 year. They uh, don't have many in their core range anymore. They still have the 17, they still have the 25. For now, uh, they used to have a lot more, but they're, they're not the biggest distillery in the world. And just like a lot of the smaller distilleries that haven't had a chance to expand, they uh, probably are suffering with for stock levels. So I would expect that you might only see the 12 on your shelves in the near future, but maybe once another 12 years gets on, they might have a bit more stock. We shall see. This is a 40% whiskey at the moment, and uh, in the UK at least, it sells for about £30. It's relatively cheap on the 12 year old whiskey scale. It's a fairly light in character whiskey. But it's, um, for me, as we'll go through on the nose, I, I get a lot of sea influence on it. It's one of the more northerly mainland distilleries. I think the only one it's beaten by is the kind of relatively newer Wolfburn distillery. Of the classics, this is one of the most northern. Um, again, the, there's a few islands. There's the, uh, the Orkney Islands, Highland Park and Scapa that are more northern than that. But mainland I'm talking about here, just near Wick. Let's get on to the nose and see where we're at. Well, it's got a, it's like a, like, it's a sweet mustiness almost, sweet mustiness. Lots of sea air, I get lots of salt from this. Absolutely fabulous if you're into the coast. I love the coast. And if you delve deep, I get some pears off of it as well. Let's have a go on the palette and see where we're at. Mm. It's immediately spicy, quite fiery, a bit peppery. But oddly enough, I get this kind of these orange flavours for it that I didn't get on the nose. It's mainly after you swallow, you get this kind of um, tangerine citrusy taste from it along with the salts and stuff that you were getting from the nose. Mm. Mm. Yeah, those oranges are just fantastic. The finish isn't massive, medium to short. The spice sticks around for a little bit, but not long. Makes you want to drink more of it, I guess. But um, overall, it's an absolutely fabulous dram. Um, I actually got one of these is what uh, when i first got into whiskey someone bought me this for my 25th birthday a friend of mine called emma and um i had no idea what it was never heard of it and just loved it and i uh strangely enough haven't owned a bottle of that since then but i must get another bottle it's just uh, it's one of those ones where it's so cheap it you can just be a mainstay of your cabinet the bottles are kind of really nice it's got a nice little neck to it as well but yeah, that's a, a quick overview of the um, Old Pulteney 12 year old. I do have the 17 coming up at some point in the future. I can't promise when. I'm trying to rotate between things that aren't Scotch, like bourbons and uh, more European things. But um, I've got a lot of Scotch to go through in my list, especially some of this stuff up here. So I will get to it. If you want to be the first to see when it comes out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But of course, watch more videos just like this. I'll put out new content every Monday and Thursday. Thanks for watching.